The small intestine is the site where the digestive processes are completed and where the nutrients are absorbed by cells of the epithelial lining. The small intestine consists of three segments, the duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Similar to the rest of the gastrointestinal tract, the wall of the small intestine has four main layers, the mucosa, submucosa, muscularis propria, and in the small intestine, the outermost layer is a layer of connective tissue called the serosa. Although each segment of the small intestine shares similar overall structures, there are still quite a few differences between each segment that can be seen with light microscopy. Even at low magnification, we can see that the finger-like projections, or villi, that extend into the lumen in both the duodenum and jejunum are very tall and slender when compared to the villi of the ileum, which are significantly shorter, broader, and their tips are flat in comparison to the duodenum and the jejunum. Let's take a closer look at the mucosa of the duodenum. Densely covering the entire mucosa of the small intestine are short mucosal outgrowths called villi that project into the lumen. These finger or leaf-like projections are covered by a simple columnar epithelium of absorptive cells called enterocytes, which are simple columnar cells with many interspersed goblet cells which secrete mucus for lubrication and physical protection of the intestinal epithelium. Each villus has a core of loose connective tissue that extends from the lamina propria. The crypts of Libercune, or intestinal crypts, are glands found at the bases of the villi. The crypts contain stem cells that slowly differentiate into the cells that form the epithelial lining of the small intestine, which include both the enterocytes and goblet cells. The differentiated cells move up the villi as new cells are continually formed underneath them, and within a week, the cells will reach the tip of the villi where they're shed into the lumen. Some of the crypts in the small intestine have cells with very eosinophilic or pink granules. These cells are called ponnet cells. Ponnet cells are exocrine cells with large eosinophilic secretory granules in their apical cytoplasm. Ponnet cell granules release some molecules, all of which bind and break down membranes of microorganisms and bacterial cell walls. Ponnet cells have an important role in innate immunity and in regulating the microenvironment of the intestinal crypts. If we look at a section of the jejunum, we can see that mucosa shares the same characteristics we saw in the duodenum's mucosa. Including the crypts of Libercune, ponnet cells, enterocytes with their microvilli, goblet cells, lamina propria, and muscularis mucosa. Now, if we look at a section taken from the ileum, it has the same characteristics as the duodenum and jejunum, but the mucosa of the ileum can be differentiated by its shorter, broader villi, and the lamina propria of the ileum houses permanent clusters of lymphoid nodules known as payer patches, and payer patches are only seen in ileum. The next layer of the small intestine underneath the mucosa is the submucosa. The submucosa consists mostly of dense, irregular connective tissue all throughout the small intestine. The duodenum submucosa can be distinguished from other segments of the small intestine by unique glands called Brunner's glands, which are only seen in the duodenum and esophagus. Brunner glands secrete a mucous alkaline fluid in response to parasympathetic stimulation. This fluid helps neutralize the acidic chyme that enters the duodenum from the stomach. The intrinsic innervation of the submucosa is from the parasympathetic Meissner plexus. These nerves are responsible for innervating the mucosal goblet cells and the smooth muscle of the muscularis mucosa. All segments of the small intestine have a muscular layer that surrounds the submucosa called the muscularis externa or muscularis propria. The muscularis externa of the small intestine is composed of an inner circular layer and an outer longitudinal smooth muscle layer. Auerbach myenteric plexus, located between the two muscle layers, is the intrinsic neural supply of the external muscle coat. The muscularis externa 
is responsible for the peristaltic activity of the small intestine. Looking at the same image, we can see a portion of the serosa, which is the fourth and outermost main layer of the small intestine. The serosa is a thin layer of loose connective tissue that allows the small intestine to move more freely within the abdomen and contains blood vessels, nerves, and lymphatic vessels as well. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.